I am Satish Gadinkar. Today I am teaching about the flat belt. This is the question. The layout of the leather belt drive transmitting 15 kilowatt power. Data is given 15 kilowatt data. 15 kilowatt power we have given it. 15 kilowatt power P is equal to 15 kilowatt and uh, 15 kilowatt power. As shown in the figure, the center distance between the two pulley will be 2D as per the question. The belt should not operate or should operate at velocity of velocity is given V is equal to 20 meter per second and the stress in the belt should not exceed sigma D or sigma 1 is nothing but 2.25 megapascal 2.25 megapascal and density density is given rho is 0 0.95 gram per cc you have to convert into kg meter cube rho is equal to 0 0.95 into 10 raised to minus 6 kg divided by mm cube further 0 0.95 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 10 raised to 9 that is 3 into 3 9 the answer will be 950 kg meter cube. Either you can write mass in terms of mass or rho. Okay, kg per meter cube. And next is uh, the coefficient of friction mu is given 0 0.35 and thickness T is given 5 mm. Uh, first condition we have to find out the, the diameter of the pulley. We are going to find out the diameter of the pulley. And next, based upon the diagram, N1 is nothing but 1440 RPM and N2 is nothing but 480 RPM. We are given it. Okay, first we are finding the diameter. Finding the diameter of the pulley. How to find out the diameter? V is equal to pi d1 plus t into n1 divided by 60,000 because the velocity is already given here. Velocity is nothing but 20 into pi d1 plus t is nothing but 5 mm. n1 is 1440 divided by 60,000. If you cross multiply, the t value will be d1 is equal to 260. 258 mm approximately considered as a 61 or 60 mm you have to go for whole number after knowing this one you can find out um, d2 n1 n1 d1 is equal to d2 divided by n2 n1 is 1440 d1 is 260 d2 is unknown but uh, 480 you will get d2 will be or capital D is nothing but 780 mm now we have to find out the length of the belt as per the question we are finding the length of the belt and the width of the belt okay now I'm going to find out the length of the belt here length of the belt length of the belt this is equal to 2D. 2D is nothing but 2 into 780 is nothing but 1560 mm. Length I will consider the open belt here. Open belt formula for this one is from the data handbook root 4c square minus d by d whole square plus 1 by 2 d delta theta l plus small d theta s uh, 21 7 page number 21.10 you will obtain the this form substitute the value you will get the l before doing this one we have to find out theta l and theta s now to find out theta l and theta s Theta L is nothing but 
pi plus 2 sin inverse capital D minus small d divided by 2c into pi by 180. If you are keeping the calculate in terms of degree, then you have to multiply pi by 180. Otherwise, this portion is enough if you keep the calculate in terms of radial. Now I will substitute the value here. Okay, after substituting these values, because already d is known here, capital D is known, and small d is already known here, small d. If you substitute the value, you will get the answer as around 2.806 radial. Zero six radial. Okay. Next, I will go for uh, theta s. Theta s is nothing but pi minus two sine inverse d by d divided by two c into pi by one eighty. Substitute the value, you will get. Uh, sorry, this value will get around for you. This value. This value will get around 3.4765 radian and uh, theta s theta s will be 2.806 radian if you calculate. After knowing these two values, substitute in L value, you will get 4797.07 mm. You have to substitute in this form. Everything is known here. If you substitute, you will obtain this L value. Now, finding the width, width of the belt, use same formula A1, which is used in the earlier videos of the flat belt wrap. 1000p is equal to V sigma d minus instead of W by G, you have to write rho V square into 10 to minus 6 into k. Now k, you can take this one. Theta, you can consider this one. This is a smaller, smaller. Theta can be considered as a smaller. Okay, and this term is nothing but what? Sigma c also. Sigma c. Okay, I will substitute the value. Now to get the answer. The k is nothing but e raised to mu theta s yes, minus 1 divided by e raised to mu theta s yes. is equal to 0 0.35 into 2.806 minus 1 divided by e raised to 0 0.35 into 2.806 you will get the answer 0 0.625 everything is known here substitute the values here a1 into 5 is equal to 1000 into p is nothing 15 divided by 20 2.25 minus 950 into 20 square into 10 to minus 6 into 0 0.625 the a win is nothing but 128.34 mm as per the standard you have to refer the table table 21.8 page number 21.9 here a value as per the standard is nothing but 130 130 mm okay now we are going to find out the belt tension this is the third question belt tension belt tension we have to find out how to find out the belt tension this is a formula sigma 1 minus sigma c is equal to sigma 2 minus sigma c e is equal to e raised to mu theta yes sigma c is nothing but what sigma c is nothing but rho into v square into 10 to minus 6 10 to minus 6 950 into 20 square into 10 to minus 6 this value will be around 0 0.38 newton per mm square sigma 1 is nothing but what t1 is equal to sigma 1 into a sigma 1 is already given 
it is 2.25 into a is nothing but a1 into t 2.25 a1 30 into 5 t1 is nothing but 14625 1462.5 newton now we are going to find out the sigma 2 sigma 2 substitute the 2.25 minus 0.38 divided by sigma 2 minus 0.38 is equal to e raised to 0.35 into 2.806 substitute the value we will get sigma 2 is equal to 1.08 Newton per mm square. Once you get this value, T2 is nothing but sigma 2 into A 1.08 into 130 into 5. Your answer will be 702 Newton. I am Sadhu Thank you very much.